This is about the difference between the 1.0 and 2.0 connectors for SharePoint online lists in Power BI. So the gist of it is 2.0 is the newer one. It's going to be faster. There are, however, times where you may want to use the 1.0 connector. I'm going to go through what the query looks like for both so that you can see the difference. While I'm on the screen, I want to point out this view mode option down here. So by default, it's going to be set to all. So that means it's going to pull all of your columns and all of your rows. I almost always leave this on all. The only time that you'd want to change this view mode to a specific view is if you only need the very specific columns that are on a particular view in the Microsoft list and your list is smaller than 5,000 items because the list view threshold is 5,000. I wanna point out that you can get over 5,000 rows in Power BI, you just have to leave this on all. So I'm gonna show you what 1.0 and 2.0 looks like. I have these queries already set up. So here's an example of the 2.0 connector. You'll notice that all of these column titles have friendly names. So they're using the display name of the fields. What that means is if you change the name of the fields in the Microsoft list and your query references those display names, which it likely does, you're gonna to need to update your query references. I have another video on troubleshooting errors in Power Query, so I'm not gonna go into that here, but I just wanna point out that this is using the display name of the fields. Person columns expand a little bit differently in the 2.0 connector versus 1.0, so created by is the person who created an item. If I expand this out with the double arrows here, so it says expanded new rows, but there's only ever one person who created something, so it's not gonna actually create multiple rows. So you can see which fields we have to work with here. We have the person's ID, title, which is actually their display name, not a job title, have their email address, SIP, and picture. So if I expand this out, we can look at those values. My understanding is that the SIP is used by Teams for meetings. I never use the SIP. I just wanted to show you what the value looks like. So you can see that the created by title is gonna be the person's name. So if you want the name of a person field, you would expand the title. In contrast, let's go look at the 1.0 version of this exact same list. The field names are a little bit less friendly. So if you have spaces in the names, it's gonna take those spaces out. This is a percentage complete. You see it's kind of inserted O data in there. And for location type fields, it's got all of the values for that in JSON. So with a 2.0 connector, you can just directly expand these. There'll be a little icon up here in the column header. In the 1.0 connector, you can't do that, probably because this field type didn't exist back when the 1.0 connector was created. If you've expanded them on the SharePoint end, it does have the values here. Another interesting thing the 1.0 connector has is the liked by information. So if you have turned on likes and ratings as a feature in your Microsoft list, this is a setting that's under your advanced list settings. You can expand that information about who's liked what here. So when I click this double arrows, I get a like count and a liked by. This is kind of niche. Not many people use the liked by setting, but it is interesting, kind of useful for like a voting widget sort of thing. So the other thing you'll notice is that the created by field is called author in the 1.0 connector, and the modified by user is called editors. These are both person fields. You can expand person fields in here, and you get way, 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 way more user profile fields. So in here, it's got like their department, their job title, their phone number, basically all of the standard information that is in their Microsoft 365 profile is in here, and you can expand each of these things out. There are, however, some bugs with the 1.0 connector and person type fields. So you'll notice that this is this field here um, assigned to, this is a person field, it's multi-value. It won't expand these. It just says no columns were found. There is a fix for this that you can try. So if you're trying to expand a person type field and it's not working, if you go to the advanced editor and change this API version from 15 to 14. Sometimes that'll work. It didn't work in this particular case, but I have had it work for me dozens of times in the past. Just keep in mind that when you switch API versions, a lot of your column names will change. So if you're going to change that, do it early in your Power Query process to avoid having to do a bunch of rework. That's the gist of it. Essentially, use 2.0 first. It's very, 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 very much faster than 1.0. But if there's some particular thing you really need to get, like the likes or the extended profile information, you can still use 1.0. Both of them will pull more than 5,000 rows. I've used it on like upwards of 100,000 and it was fine. It does get a lot slower the more actions you're using in Power Query, but it technically functions.